Hi everyone, it's April 6th and we are officially on baby watch for both goats. Back on November 4th, we rented a buck and put him in with the girls for the full month. Every day I'm spending a large chunk of time hanging out with the goats just to learn their habits. That way I know when things are changing. I'm looking for signs of labor. The thing is, every goat is different. Because this is their first freshening, I want to make sure that I'm looking for the right signs for next year. Some goats show signs up to a month before kidding, and others show signs up to 10 minutes before kidding. Every morning, I feed and check them on the milking stand. I do a quick vulva check for poofiness and looseness, and then... I touch their udder. I make sure I touch both teeth twice, and I make sure that I rub the insides of their legs just to get them used to when they're being milked. We've been practicing their milk stand training for about a month now. I also check their ligaments. If you find their spine about four inches up, you'll find two ligaments on each side that V out. As they progress, these will soften to let the baby out. It's now April 8th and everyone still has solid ligaments and I still have no goat babies, but I'll keep you updated. It's around 2 p.m. and I'm having trouble finding Mary Jane's ligaments. Over the past couple days, she's really hollowed out, so I think she's getting close. Her udder hasn't bagged up yet, but I don't know if it will because this is her first kidding. Good morning, everyone. This morning at around 7 a.m., I came running out the front door in my pajamas because I noticed we had a fresh baby on the ground. I'm in the goat house keeping an eye on our new baby girl and making sure she's eating well. She's already eaten several times and seems very strong and healthy. Mary Jane is being such a good mom. It's been a beautiful morning, now time for a cup of coffee.